today's video is going to be really, really fun. It's going to be an everyday makeup tutorial. This has actually been requested a few times. People want to know, what do I do for my everyday makeup? And honestly, guys, I like to keep it simple. So I'm going to walk you through my routine. <gasps> I literally never breathe when I talk. And I'm just gonna give you a step-by-step -step breakdown on how you can do your own makeup for every day and for it to look super nice and natural on the skin. I also have a live audience today, so I'm feeling a little bit nervous. So I already started by washing my face. I literally just did a face cleanser, a serum, and then a moisturizer. Oh, my audience just left. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Bless me. <laughs> wow, why did that sneeze take me out? Why am I looking like crazy? I'm gonna start by using this SOS spray. I love this spray, honestly. It's super gentle on the skin and I use it as a spray. Okay, I can't speak. I'm using it as a setting spray and a prep spray. It's goodness gracious, I'm using it as a spray, okay? I'm just using it as a spray. It's honestly so refreshing and I have super sensitive skin so this doesn't irritate it which is really nice. I will link all of the products I'm using in the description box below if you want to try them out for yourself. Now I have no idea when my bangs got this long but now I have to wear a headband. I actually can't even avoid it. So I'm just throwing on this cute little headband. Aww. My under eyes are not showing up on camera the way they're showing up in the mirror right now so that's a little bit crazy but they're pretty dark so I like to go in with a color corrector because I feel like it really helps to brighten. Also sorry my allergies are really bad right now. I'm really that girl that just never has clean makeup brushes. I used to always have clean makeup brushes because I was so scared of it irritating my skin and now I'm like I will literally use this tiny little sponge for my entire makeup routine if that means I can avoid cleaning some brushes. So I am going ahead and using that tiny sponge to do a lot of my makeup routine today. I feel like that just proves that you don't need any crazy crazy tools to have a good makeup day. So this sponge is actually not wet at all. It's completely dry and I got it from a little Korean beauty store and look how cute it is. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with it. On a day-to-day -day basis, I usually want to go for a really light, soft, and glowy kind of base look. This product here is from Say Beauty and it's actually in the shade Sun Glow, so it's going to be a little bit bronzy, which I need that effect right now. It's winter, it's actually snowing outside, so I'm extra pale. And then for my foundation, I'm actually going to be using this skin tint from Fenty and I'm in the shade 3. I usually use shade 7, but because I want to mix it with a bronzy, glowy product, I don't want to go for the same shade because it'll end up being much darker than the rest of my body. I honestly don't use a lot. I'm just gonna use like a couple drops, maybe like this much. And then for the bronzy product, maybe like one full pump. This is my ratio. And plus I always like to go in with less and then add more if I need to. Also, I really like to use concealer to add coverage and I'd rather my base to be super light. I feel like that way I can make it look more natural on the skin. So if you have any redness or blemishes that you wanna cover up more, I would recommend using a concealer rather than going in with a heavier foundation. There is literally a feather on my eyelash right now. Oh, hi Misa. Our live audience is back. So I'm gonna get in really close here right now. Please ignore my eyebrows. This is just this is vulnerable for me But as you can see this is what my skin looks like with the skin tint and the bronzer on you can really tell that It's just a tiny 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 shield over top of my skin. My blemishes are still showing but I'm blurred, baby I'm looking blurred now. I'm just gonna go into my concealer and this is honestly one of my favorite makeup products ever I'm just a concealer girl and I'm just gonna go ahead and just lightly cover up those blemishes Do a tiny bit underneath my eyes and then some around the nose because my nose is always Red. If you're someone that always deals with getting really creasy under eyes, which I used to always deal with and I realized guys It's just because we put on way too much concealer and we have to do little little layers Like think of it like a crepe pancake cake. Have you ever seen one of those? Basically, it's just tiny little thin layers and then it makes a cake We don't want the cake, but we want the tiny thin layers. So take what that um I don't know why I used a food reference, but if you understood, I'm glad. <laughs> and I'm just gonna blend this in the same way I did with my color corrector. And you can see on this side of my face, I've covered up the rest of the redness and like the little bit of blemishes and it's just super smooth and even and it's perfectly covered. But as you can tell, let me zoom you in. Oh, wrong way. It really does look like my skin. It looks really blurred. You can't really even tell that I have any makeup on, maybe a little bit underneath the eyes, but it's very seamless. Ignore the random, <laughs> girl, get it together. Ignore the random dot here. If you have never tried cream bronzer, you have to try cream bronzer, guys. I want to put you on this. I love cream bronzer more than powder bronzer. Layering cream and bro cream and bronzer. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Okay, maybe you shouldn't take my advice. <laughs> Moving on. I actually went to makeup school and I used to do bridal makeup and makeup on film sets and all that jazz. And one thing we learned was to layer cream and powder products because it makes your makeup last longer because there's like the base and then you set the base and then it's like magic. Today I don't need the longevity part so I'm not gonna add powder bronzer but if you need your makeup to last all day, I would highly recommend trying to layer your products. Now that I have my bronzer on and I'm feeling a little bit more like myself, I'm gonna be moving into blush 
and this looks like a giant blush because it basically is this is the same blush I'm literally so grateful anytime brands send me PR because I'm absolutely makeup obsessed I'm skincare obsessed I'm hair care obsessed I'm everything obsessed so I love getting free makeup it's such a blessing this is not sponsored by the way nobody is paying me to say any of this and I was not told that I will get these products in exchange for posting a video I just organically love these and just wanted to share it with you guys apparently they launched new colors and I don't know if I've tried this color before called sweetie but I want to try it today so if I've tried it before I guess we'll find out this is their dew blushes and I actually really really love the formula of this and I think you guys would too basically it's kind of like a very sheer liquid blush now this is nothing like the rare beauty blush you don't have to be careful with how much you apply and I'll show you that I'm just gonna apply a little bit right here this is giving like a watermelon -y pink color now I'm gonna be taking a dew fiber brush this is not my favorite one but this is the least dirty one that I have on my table I feel like dual fiber brushes blend out cream products and liquid products really really well which is why I tend to reach for them so when I'm blending out my blush I don't want to bring it past this area and I don't want to bring it too far up my forehead so I kind of go in a shape like this up to my brow bone I kind of like blending it a little bit on my brow phone phone brow phone <laughs> I need to get it together <laughs> anyways I blended out my blush this is how my blush looks I actually really like this color and this blemish really wants to be the star of today's show and I'm gonna lose it I'm gonna let her live I'm gonna let her have her way so I also find with this blush is that after you blend it out yes it's pretty bright but then as it sits it's going to kind of melt into your skin more and get even more muted so if you're someone that's a little bit scared of blush this is a great option but if you love a pigmented blush you might want to go for a different option because this is definitely more sheer Clean glur- Okay. <laughs> Let me try that again. Clean girl vibes. Now because it's winter outside and I want to be a little bit cold, I'm going to add a little bit of blush on my nose here and also just a little bit underneath the eyes for more of a cutesy, I need a hot cocoa <laughs> type of vibe. So remember when I said you shouldn't lay your creams or your powders? That doesn't count for highlighter. I'm going to actually set my face before I go in with my highlighter and that's just because I feel like it looks better and I also don't want to set my cream highlighter and make it matte because that would defeat the whole purpose. So I'm going to go in with my powder first. I'm actually going to use this pressed powder. I'm going to go for a powder that matches my skin tone. Actually, it's a little bit lighter than my skin tone, but it ends up working. Out. So I'm gonna give you guys a pretty close-up view right now of what my makeup looks like on my skin So you can see that this is very skin like obviously a few of my blemishes are still popping through That's because I didn't really use anything full coverage I'm gonna be so real with you guys right now because my bangs are usually in my face I don't ever really do my eyebrows that doesn't mean I don't like to do my eyebrows Like if I'm going to an event or something special I will do my eyebrows because I like how they look on camera So for the sake of today's video I filled them in a little bit and now I'm realizing why I miss filling in my eyebrows because I'm looking at them and I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I'm like you're not ugly you just didn't fill in your eyebrows also as a child my mom overplucked the middle of my eyebrow god bless her soul so I've been filling that in and I'll be dealing with that for the rest of my life and to be fair when I first started asking her to do my eyebrows skinny eyebrows were the most in so it makes sense her alibi checks out but now it's 2024 and I want full luscious fresh clean eyebrows since this is an easy makeup look for beginners I'm gonna be showing you guys the easiest way to do a really pretty eye look using minimal products I feel like one of the most beginner friendly products is literally an eyeshadow stick this is something that my mom loves to use she loves eyeshadow sticks and that's how I know it's easy to use because she always says she has no idea how to do her makeup so I'm gonna be taking this eyeshadow stick this is my color preference you can pick whatever colors you like purple blue black whatever you like I'm more of a brown tone girl so I'm going for the shade shroom matte shroom mate I'm crazy and this one is by Fenty Beauty and I'm just gonna put that all along my lash line like so and I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side before I even blend out the other side you can see up close that this is a very 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 soft shade on me this is not super dark or intense or anything like that and you can also just use your cream bronzer or powder bronzer for this step if you want and I'm just gonna take this Kosas eyeshadow pencil 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 brush eyeshadow brush and I absolutely love the shape of this I feel like it's the perfect amount of thickness and I love how it's straight across because I feel like it really blends stuff out and keeps it near your lash line really good really good it's really good <laughs> and that's just how I like to blend it out I feel like it creates the perfect amount of shadow for my eye and then also when I go in with mascara I feel like it also kind of makes my lashes look thicker just because there's a little bit more depth along my lash line I don't know if Fenty Beauty's not in your price range you can pick up the NYX eyeshadow pencils you can use these for liner or eyeshadow looks they have shimmery they have matte it's just it's been raved about for so long and for good reason I think they're like eight to ten dollars each but don't quote me on that because I'm just trying I guess off the top of my head now before I curl my lashes and add mascara this is kind of my personal little step that I like to do and that's add a little bit of an eyeliner on the edges of my eyes I feel like it frames my eyes really nicely and really 
really suits my eye shape. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Duo Eye Pencil and it comes in two shades. It has a black one and then it also has the shimmery pearl and I'm gonna use both. Starting with the black side, this is a matte pencil by the way. I'm just gonna draw the tiniest little triangle on the edge of my eyelashes and then I'm gonna blend it out with the brush. You can totally keep it as an actual eyeliner for itself, but I like a little bit of a smudged look for an everyday look. I feel like it gives effortless. <laughs> so before I let that kind of set itself, I'm gonna go in with the brush and I'm just gonna slightly blend it out. I'm not going for a full-blown smoky eye here, okay guys? I'm just going for a little bit of a worn in, rushed out the door look. I'm gonna apply some on the other side without blending it out just to show you guys the difference. So you can see the different effects that it gives each eye. This is more soft and blurred and then of course this one's a little bit more angular. Now I'm just gonna go in with this really cute pearl shade on the other side and I love a bright inner corner eye. I feel like it looks really pretty. So I'm kind of creating a V shape. I like to go kind of to the first lash here and then just before a lash would finish here. Then I just tap that in with my pinky finger to make it look a little bit more diffused. Now you can totally leave your eye look right here and you don't have to add anything else but I'm very extra and dramatic so I have to add a little bit of glitter. So I just bought this eyeliner the other day when I was out and I really want to try it out and I usually do like a glitter on my inner corners on well not usually just whenever I feel like it but ever since I got this I literally have not been able to sleep at night hence the dark circles because I want to try this out so bad the packaging is literally so adorable but let me open it up and show you guys this applicator it is like a pointed plastic applicator and I feel like this is a very interesting way to apply glitter but it also makes a lot of sense because once you throw it on you're probably just gonna tap it out a little bit with your finger so it looks diffused and I added a little bit too much so that is good actually I like okay no, now I've done it. Now I've added too much. I personally like to curl my lashes by pumping it and then I shift it towards like this. <laughs> And then I like to pump it a little bit more and then you can see close up that this eye is just really popping And I feel like it also makes my eyes look a little bit more awake So sometimes actually a lot of the time if I'm going out of the house and I don't want to put on any makeup I'll just quickly curl my lashes and throw on like a lip gloss or a lip mask And I feel like it makes me look kind of put together for mascara I'm gonna be using this half magic beauty mascara I really like this one for every day because I feel like it removes really easily now on the website when I looked It didn't say it was a tubing mascara, but it removes like a tubing mascara now I'm personally a huge fan of tubing mascaras because I feel like all my mascaras never actually want to fully remove from my eyelashes but tubing mascaras come off so easy so I never wake up with any like residue on my eyes and plus I have super sensitive eyes so I always gravitate towards the mascaras that irritate my eyes the least I mean look at this comparison guys it looks so good I'm literally obsessed you know I used to collect mascara when I was younger I would literally buy mascara I think once a week because I would use any money I had to buy mascaras and I actually used to Looks like my lights are having a little bit of like a issue. I will occasionally use like eyelash serums and stuff like that to make my lashes look longer But then once they're at the desired length I kind of stop and then I just continue at a later date whenever I feel like it and my favorite lash serum is the ordinary one It works so good I'm gonna add a little bit more blush because my face loves to eat up all the blush I put on also I'm feeling so off today I got my period a couple days ago, and I just have really been going through it a lot of the time I get a little bit depressed anytime my period rolls around I feel like I just get really like hard on myself and like I always pick apart everything that I do and I always feel like I'm super annoying. So I find that anytime I record a video when I'm on my period, I just have so much less energy and that's just because it's really taking me out. Like my cramps right now, I've been able to hide it on camera but my stomach is literally killing me and I haven't been able to eat today because my stomach hurts so bad. I'm just applying this Tower 28 clear highlighter and I know you may be like, okay, a clear highlighter, like what does that even mean? But I feel like it just gives that really fresh dewy look to the skin that everyone's always trying to achieve and it does it without lifting up any of your makeup. And I used to use a moisturizer and try to do that same effect but moisturizers typically lift up my makeup so I love this highlighter finally moving into my last step which is lips and now I have a lip combo that I typically reach for all the time and it usually consists of this lip liner this is one of my favorite lip liners it's the shade fawn it's by the brand refi and it actually has like this long lasting cream that you're supposed to apply over top but I'll be honest with you guys I don't like the cream so I just use the lip liner I'm also someone that loves to overline my lips a little bit so I'm gonna do a little bit of that <laughs> recently I've been really gravitating towards Korean lip products and specifically their lip tints because I feel like it's the perfect consistency. This one's called Crystal Glam Tint and it's in the shade Mellow Fig. This is what the applicator looks like. It's like a classic doe foot applicator and I feel like it just dispersed the right amount of product. It is also just the most perfect natural shade on me, I feel. It's pigmented enough where I feel like it gives that perfect tint once it's kind of worn off, but it's also soft enough where I feel like it's just that nice everyday color. It's like the perfect color. I'm obsessed. So I'm just gonna take this headband off. The headband is taken away from the glam. Okay, perfect. I'm feeling myself now. I was feeling a little bit like 
is the makeup makeuping because this is not gonna be good this is supposed to be a tutorial <laughs> I feel like this is a very perfect beginner friendly look because it's not too intense everything is very blended and soft and honestly even with the liner if you're not used to applying liner you can just smudge it out and then you get a really cute effect this is the makeup look up close as always thank you guys so much for watching this week's video I literally love you guys so much and I know this week's video was a little bit late I had this whole fiasco with my charger I ended up breaking and then I ordered one off Amazon and then it was the wrong charger oh my gosh I've literally had some serious complications I also have no tripod so currently my camera is on top of a bunch of random boxes because I lost my tripod and on top of that I updated my camera So my new camera is way too heavy for the tripod So even when I fix it up, it just starts to slowly go down as I continue filming anyways We're back baby. So expect weekly videos from now on if you're just sitting there being like, oh I wish I could see truly's face every day Go check out my other platforms because I post daily on those and I would love to see you guys there, too And well, I love you guys so much. Thanks for putting up with me and I will be seeing you next week.